Hi everyone. I just wanted to say hey, thanks for watching today. Um, and I wanted to give you a little heads up. I'm kind of in this weird in-between place where I don't exactly have a studio and I don't exactly have a shop to film in. So I'm using this room, which is actually a part of an active construction site. And you can definitely hear the background noise. There's backup alarms. There's a dump truck right behind me. There's a little excavator. They're, they're having a busy day. You know how it is. It's just part of the life. So I wanted to let you know I'm going to be filming this video here, but I may do a voiceover just to cut out some of the background noise, make sure it's not irritating to watch. But here we go. Thanks so much for watching. When I first started out in my career, I felt like there were basically two options for those of us girls who work in heavy industry. One, looking like you were wearing your dad's work gear, or looking like you're taking a field trip to see what happens outside the office. Neither one of these is functional and neither one serves the many women like myself who work in heavy industry. Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety. I got my start in safety because I knew how to run a forklift. So I kind of came from more of the laborer sort of operator background. Um, and then eventually I transitioned to safety, but I've worked quite a few different jobs over the years. And even in safety, often I'm doing things like asbestos inspector, going in and out of confined spaces, you know, all the weird things that our job throws us into. So today I wanted to show you some of the fun new options out there for girls like us in terms of women's workwear. And I also wanted to show a variety, not just the stuff that goes to the office, but from the field to the office. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. When you don't work the type of jobs that are typically done by the lead characters in chick flicks. I'm Elle Woods, Miss Bonifante's attorney. I'm a serious journalist. I run an inn near Stars Hollow. It can be hard to find something functional to wear that's also built for women. Luckily, a lot has been happening in the women's workwear world. What's even cooler is that many of the brands I'm gonna talk about today are actually built by women. In addition, those brands that I didn't get time to talk about, I'm going to be linking a bunch of them in the description below so we can help support other women-run businesses and other businesses that are catering to women. Just a heads up, this video is not sponsored, but there are some pretty good coupon codes in the description below. And if you use them, I may get a small portion of the sale, which helps me to do videos like this. If you like this type of content, let me know in the comments. That being said, if you don't like this type of comments, that's also okay to let me know. I've been on YouTube over a year now, so I've gained a pretty thick skin. We're gonna go through this video, starting with coveralls and overalls, and working our way up to some clothes that will take you from the construction site to the office, and even to presenting in the boardroom. So here we go. So the first time I bought a pair of coveralls, I was in high school, and it took me about an hour of searching through the Army Navy store to find a pair that fit. Unfortunately, they got oil spilled on them not long after that and were pretty much done for. I haven't found a pair of coveralls since then, which is more than 10 years, that I like as much as this pair. So these ones I'll link down below. They're super comfortable. And when I read the reviews, there were people saying that they wore them to work at an auto body shop and then they also wore them out on dates. So anything that's that comfortable and versatile, I'd say is a great choice. These are just a little bit more on the pricey side, but what I would say is if you have a job where occasionally you need to jump into a pair of coveralls and then head back to the office to give a presentation, having a good fitting pair of coveralls is really gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna make you look better in meetings. For me, when I was an asbestos inspector, often I'd be giving presentations in the afternoon, but during the morning I'd be crawling through pipe chases or attics and all kinds of gross places. So having a nice pair really makes a big difference. Since they are a little bit more expensive, if you destroy your clothes pretty easily at work, you can always go back to the classic Dickies coveralls and those are a good option. What I'd like to show you with these as well is these shoes. These are one of my favorite safety finds from this year. So these are actually a safety toed shoe and they are super comfortable with great arch support. They're from Mellow Walk and they're probably my favorite new safety shoe to wear all the time during the summer just because they're so light. And they're on the casual side too, so depending on your workplace, it's a great fit. So the next item that I wanted to show you are overalls. These ones that I'm wearing are my second pair from Dovetail Workwear, and they're new, so they're still pretty clean. 
But what I love about these is they're really comfortable and they're also very functional. They've got a lot of different pockets set up for women who actually do real work. They're not just a fashion statement. So the other really cool thing about this company is they also offer maternity workwear, which is really hard to find. The other cool thing about this outfit are these boots, which are from Keen. Um, they're one of my favorites for the year and they're super comfy and cushy without being too heavy weight. And they're coming out with a carbon toe version later this year. So that'll be lightweight and unlike steel toes, it won't be cold in the winter. So make sure you check those out too. If any of you work on job sites where you have to wear long sleeves, even during the hottest days of summer, I would definitely check out Ariat's UV line. This shirt is long sleeved, but it feels really cool. It lets the air go through really easily and it's comfortable on a hot day. Last week, I was wearing it in the middle of nowhere where we had no shade. It was super hot and sunny and I was in an excavator cab that was open, so there was no shade in there either. And this shirt was cool and it felt comfortable throughout the day. So I would definitely say UV resistant shirts like this are a good bet for those types of jobs in the summer. And then next, these pants are from Dovetail Workwear. What I think is cool about these is they are much better fit to women than like the Carhartt's pants are. So when I used to wear Carhartt's pants, if I wore the men's pants, it felt like I looked like a box all day and they were really heavy. And if I wore the women's, it felt like my waist was basically being strangled all day long. These, however, are a good mix. They've got all the pockets you need to really have the utility that you need, while also being comfortable and fitting a lot better, in my opinion. We all have those days where we don't feel like putting on real pants for work. And I'm really happy that now there's a solution for those days. So these are Ariat leggings. They have three pockets. There's the two front ones and then a side one that'll fit your cell phone. They're really comfortable. The only thing I would say is you wanna size up in them. I think they run a little bit small. Carhartts are also a good option, but either way, they're a little bit thicker material than typical leggings and they don't really look like leggings once you get on the job site. So you can be comfortable and still look like you're dressed appropriately for work, which is kind of the best of both worlds. In addition, I paired these with these really lightweight boots. These are a safety toe and they are from Rockport Works. If you haven't heard of them before, definitely check them out. They've got some unique styles like this and other ones. Uh, I talked about them a little bit in last year's safety shoe video, and they also have a lot of your standard safety boot types of styles as well. So they're a great company to work with, with a fun message for women. So everything I'm wearing right now is fire resistant, which is really cool for those of us who have to wear FR clothing to work because it used to be so hard to find nice women's clothing that was FR resistant. So these are from Ariat, they're fire resistant jeans and a fire resistant shirt. Um, what I would say again with Ariat, I found their pants to need to size up a little bit for myself. And then I'm tall, so usually in jeans I'll get a long and these are like extra, extra long. <laughs> so I didn't even need a long in this brand. But what I'd say is the clothes are comfortable, they're functional, and they don't feel stiff and heavy like a lot of FR brands do. I'm also gonna show you this really cool sweatshirt from their FR line that I really love for wintertime because it's cozy, but it still looks somewhat professional. So this hoodie is also fire resistant, and I think it's one of my favorite fire resistant pieces I have because it's super cozy. And if you're like me and you're cold all the time and also tend to work in cold climates, Something like this can make your day a lot better. It also goes from the field to the office pretty well and looks good in both environments. So I like that about it. One more thing I would like to mention is Hot Work, which I'll link below, makes really cool fire resistant coveralls for women. Um, I don't really have a pair of them because I don't do that much FR work right now, but I did want to mention them and link them below because if you haven't heard of them, they're an awesome brand that's really tailored to women. So this next item that I want to talk about is kind of like an Inspector Gadget jacket because it looks ordinary from the outside, but it has a lot of good features. Now, I've talked about Xena workwear shoes a lot in my previous videos, and although I'm not sponsored by Xena, I really like the items that they're coming out with because they're really well thought out, and since they're by women and for women, they know what to look for and what they wish they had in clothing. So this jacket is built to be kind of a combination between a casual utility jacket and a blazer. What I like about it is that it's really wrinkle resistant. So I've had this probably two months now, and in that time, it's been thrown in the back of my Jeep, in the back of a backpack, uh, packed up, you know, just everything that goes on when you're traveling a lot for work. And I've really not needed to steam it or iron it once. It just maintains a pretty smooth appearance and it's really comfortable. 
It's lightweight, so it's a good one to have for the summer, and the pockets are enormous. So for example, you can put your earplugs, your safety glasses, your phone, and then they've thought out a lot of the other pockets as well. So up here, you have a loop to keep your badge on for those of you who need badge access during your work. Inside, you've got one zippered pocket to keep all your valuables. And then you've got this swivel loop here. So when you're working in a place where you can't wear your jewelry and you need to take off your jewelry to go in, you can clip your jewelry on here and not have to worry that it's gonna fall out of your pocket or anything like that. It's also got this cool elastic band so you can tighten up around the waist. I like a more fitted look. If you wanted it looser, you could definitely loosen it up. And then there's another huge pocket on this side which is big enough for a small notebook. So really, it's what you need when you're walking around, say, a construction site or a factory all day. It's got everything that you need really compact into one jacket. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is this shirt. This is from Rockport Works, and it's just kind of a cute slogan. It's actually I can, and that's their campaign for women in the work world. And then lastly are these boots. These are also from Xena Workwear. And last year when I did my video on the best work boots for women, I asked if anybody knew of a great brand that had knee-high boots for women. And a couple months later, Xena came out with these boots, but I didn't really need any more work boots, so I didn't buy them until about, you know, maybe two weeks ago. Um, and one thing I was worried about is they don't have much of a heel, and so I didn't think they'd have enough support. But so far, I love these. They're really comfortable. Not having a heel hasn't been an issue. And when you're walking around on concrete floors like this all day, I found that they've been plenty cushy enough to keep you comfortable. So what I like about this outfit is when I first started working more of an office job, I didn't know what to wear that would go to the, from the field to the office and especially those management meetings where you need to look a little bit more dressed up. And this is one that I think goes really well in a lot of environments. Of course, you could pair it with a more dressed up shirt or whatever you wanted, but it's a good starter that you could wear most days of the week and feel very comfortable. So now that we've reached the last workwear look, what I wanted to talk about is what to wear a little bit more when you're doing presentations or in front of a group or maybe at board meetings where you need to look just a little bit more dressed up. And I really like this next Xena blazer because it's more tailored, more fitted, and it's also still super flexible. So it's not a stiff blazer like a lot of the times you find. It still has all the cool functionality. The badge loop is on this lower pocket on this one. Um, it's still got the zippered pocket that has the swivel clip for your keys or your jewelry or anything like that. Um, and another inside pocket. So it's got all the functionality while looking just a little bit sharper. I've also paired this with the Xena Gravity Shoes. I talked about these quite a bit last year, so if you've watched my other videos, you've probably already heard it from me. But I just got these ones in the all black, and what I like about the rubber sole is it's a little bit more cushiony than the original Gravities. So I also like the black because it's a more dressed up look when you kind of need to look your best. And then lastly, you could of course do this with any shirt you like, but I've paired it with this support blue collar shirt. This is from Troll Co. and they really do a lot of cool clothes based on supporting blue collar workers and people in the trade. And one thing that's always seemed weird to me is that division between blue collar and white collar or salary and hourly. And it's something that's just weird. I think we really need to support people going into the trades and support everybody that we work with. And so I thought it was a nice message. And I also think they just make really cool gear. So make sure to check them out as well. So that's what I like that's new in women's workwear. What I like is if I missed anything that you guys love, please leave it in the comments below. It was really cool in the previous videos to see the things that other women were suggesting and to get an idea of things out there that I wasn't aware even existed yet. It helps all of us out and it makes it more fun to go to work every day. So thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. So if you stuck around for this long, I wanted to let you know about some cool safety glasses I found. So one of the fun things that I found this year is there are a lot of new safety glasses on the market, which I love. These ones are from Heatwave, which I'll link below. And what they are is they're a polarized lens. You can get them in a ton of different colors. You can even customize them. And they come with these little flaps that you can either pull off or pull on if you want them to be Z87 compliant. So pretty sweet. They can just be normal sunglasses or they can be like your safety glasses. So that was a really fun one. Some other ones that I'm really liking are these ones from Bomber Eyewear. The cool thing about Bomber is they also have float inserts in them. So they'll float. So if you fish or do a lot of water sports, it's great. They also come in a ton of different colors options like that and clear so these ones I thought were really cool with the rose gold and then these ones with the white I thought were a great option as well